Kitten, Watoto wa Milala, and then I was getting ready to or was it download a movie when I like, like to write. Like now I'm already sitting in Pekiango. My dad calls at nine. Yeah, my dad. Yo. My father. Fatago. Eh. See if dad ya can answer no my my actual fat, biological fat, father. Yeah. We we used to talk. Oh. We used to talk. We still talk. Nice. Mm. <laughs> eh, cold, eh? Then he calls. He's like, "Abaye chela, kambi mzuri." Eh, sasi small small talk, and then he was like, "Umenda kani salo." He knew that I was saved, so he was also walking with me through that journey. He's a pastor. <laughs> yeah. So um, he was like, "Umenda kani salo and kambi apana." Ume ume umeomba wa. I was like, "Apana." And yeah, there's some prayers that you prayed. I was like, yeah, yeah, kuna nyinyi liomba. And you get scared. No. No. And then he tells me he's in Eldoret. I mean Akuru. And then he tells me his sister was in Litain some prayer meeting and then they were having a prayer thingy and then the pastor, he's a spiritual pastor. He stops and then he says, uh I don't know if he was telling my aunt or if he was just saying it out loud. He was like, "Mschana wa pastor Korir monya kona tattoos. I'm equa delivered. She has been set free." And I was like, "I'm like, whoa, huh?" That's what he was telling me. You you actually did deliverance prayers in Kambia, yeah. That's what I had done. What can I be? Ah, congratulations! That young, he was so happy. But I was like, is that how it works? Like you actually get confirmation. I get to learn Ishtusha. So to come here and then I called my sister. I was like, hey, she, skiza, 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 skiza. Ni mwangu na zina. Ni mwangu na papa. Ni mwangu. At a CB, auntie so and so was in Litain at a prayer meeting. The pastor said that he was trying to help us to carry money on a tattoo and make us set free. This was like, put on the cat's name. What's the name of the video? He's like, we're not going to finish this up. We're going to finish the pain of of this thing. And I'm like, it. Come here, these things actually happen. These things are real. He's like, ah ah ah, what's on the cat's name? Then you come back. Now I understand why I was so weak. Mm-hmm. Because now that made sense that, hey, come back, Niliomba, boss, Niliomba. Guess my hey, this spiritual warfare thing is, he. And then now, um, getting in deep, um, now like I think with every, every step mm-hmm. in these prayers, you you get more revelation. Mm-hmm. So that is when I also found out why. things happen in in my life the way they have been happening because first i was born a what what anilimisha watu sasa leo what anilimisha watu mwaga sinema mwaga sinema hasa mimi siongei tena lazima ni mhm i was born with a spirit of spirit of rejection apparently one of the ways that someone can get this it's when you're born and your mom or your dad does not want you or is not ready for you when they accept my tea how some people they're like me stuck is stuck is stuck and then at after um, after several months it, that is when you warm up to, to, to the idea you're like okay i'm ready mm-hmm. yeah something happens when you do that <laughs> oh. So for me my mom conceived me when my sister was 7 months old. So you see she was not ready. We are parents now we understand that. Yes. Hey, hey. She was not ready. She didn't want me. She didn't she was not ready. Yeah, she was not ready. How like how? Yeah. Yeah. So that was like I was born with that because one of the ways to 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 get that is Because you know they say we're all born of sin from sin in sin I'm like, you know we to come either like we're all born to gonna deny already ya ya dhambi na ya jaina pia So yeah so for me there was that 
And then um, in my childhood, during the, the, the sexual abuse, there's that too because it was a family member. So there's, there's some spiritual stuff that happened because that was incest. And then, no, this is not just the spiritual, uh, spirit of rejection. Mm -hmm. And then later on, when I was wondering why, why doesn't anything just work right? Go right yeah. yeah, like it's things just go left. Left. And it's not just yeah, and it's not just with finances. It's even with re friendships, relationships, um, anything that I, I put my hand to. Itangukato. So again, the, I found out that in, in my bloodline, there is the spirit of backwardness. <laughs> so I, now because... I think, <laughs> uh, I think the episode one is what I'll be a darasa. That's what I mean, I'll be a darasa. So that's when now I was like, now it makes sense. Look on the shanga, why? Why? Like things just don't... Like there has to be a reason behind all this. There's a reason behind everything. Yes. Everything. Are you talking to Kumbia Are you aware? Like, okay, referring to someone else. Are you yeah. aware of your surroundings? Yes. Do you know yes. why you are yes. here? What is going on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So for me, that's when I started finding out all these things, and I'm like, whoa, whoa. I'm like, 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 I'm um, it started from, from, from when I was 17. Mm. I finished high school when I was 17 and then I immediately joined aviation school. Mm. That had hey, been, <laughs> captain, love. captain, captain. <laughs> that had been my dream from when I was young. I, I remember when I was, I think four in Eldred, living in Eldred, mm. there was a plane that was, hey, okay. And yeah, and I looked at him and I was like, Attack Wendesha here. Before I knew what the, the name was, Kondesha you and Naitwa. So I knew from when I was young, Ile and Yonolism to Unatak when I was in Columbia Molimo, Kesha and Columbia as the doctor, Kesha Kutu and Columbia. Yeah. There's a video, there's a video training right now mm. of kids working this way as well. Kina Kazama Muizi. <laughs> yeah. So for me, it's always been pilot. Like, six quite plan B or C or D. No, it's always been pilot. So even in high school, I had talked with with an uncle, who who is a captain, and he told me the subjects to choose. So I chose the subjects according to what will take me to aviation school. So after aviation school, I'm on get a shule because let's see, you know, Kenya. <laughs> Good one. Kenya. I'm on get, I did the, the whole medical thing, Nikapita medical, my eyes, I'm gonna 2020. Yeah, like everything was good. Nikanza check, shule. Check, check, check. Mm. Nikanza shule. And at that time I was staying with with my aunt now and that uncle. My aunt is my mom's cousin, like first cousin. So to Kikana how? I used to go to school from like in the morning and the and then come back home to the to the house. Hey, you bunny chip it on your at home. And then come back to the house. Your life has affected you nicely. <laughs> yes, and come back to the house after school. At a sequel nice story, you know, like Miss Chana Kutaka Kenyaji. And and, uh, Kenya, and the entire yeah and, and the entire time mm. we were living here very sheltered like I didn't need to do a story in the slums when I went to Nairobi after form four I was like what were we gonna issue Haji up mm. that is how much sheltered I was like I didn't know that you could have that much poverty I didn't know. I left upon the sea upon the bed sit up. But I had yeah. never really seen yeah. what on the UV. Yeah. So Nimona for, for the first time in Nairobi and I'm like, yeah. As I see one you at the at you call at Jim Tunenda out. I had never sneaked out of home. Sequan I just doing a 
going out at the CG. You know these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me it was just and at that point I used to fear my mom. So whatever is said that is what will be done. Same like same. I never used to step or colour outside the, the, the box. I was always inside. Isn't this the same same way your mom feared her dad? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> so I was always inside so, the, so the, the box. To con a template we are wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> but get out of the template. Warning. Warning. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, so for me, my nilikuwa very focused. Shule kwa nyumba. Shule kwa nyumba. Nakumbuka fair at that point. And then that was also the first time I got on public transport. I was like, come on, try to. Nilikuwa ten bob. Like from the, from the school to it. <laughs> to the house. Mm. Ten bob. <laughs> So to men, they were okay. Kilo okay. ten bob in a funny nanny side. Ah, that lollipop side, that pop sequel, ten bob. Si ten bob. Mm. Oh, yeah, I keep looking as a cooler. Wow. <laughs> and so from school to the house, school to the house, mm. and was the time in, in the house, uh, my aunt and my uncle hadn't reached home. Still, my uncle potter. So he asked me, um, what would you want? Na mimi mtu wa kijiji mwenye nimekuwa nikiona billboard nimekuwa nikiona billboard mm. yeah. kuna kitu kinaitwa pizza kienyeji mm kienyeji mm. 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 pizza mimi unaweka kienyeji acha nikuwa kienyeji at some point acha I was so naive <laughs> oh you know what do you expect 17 yeah. you never left okay anytime we used to go to Nairobi I took out Nacho to tuzunguke Nairobi we were always we always had someone mm. so he asked me at the, Asa umulizwa, what do you want? Yes, kienyeji kwa kula nini? Naonanga no, 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 billboard ya, ya, ya pizza. Nikitoka shule, niki, nikienda shule. <laughs> Nikamambia pizza. Iyo tu. Um, Hako fika na and I didn't ask. I was like, you know, sasa unoja posi kwenu, you can't, you can't be like, hey, hey, kapi pizza ya ngulu kama zimota leta. So I didn't ask. Next day, nimeenda shule. And then my aunt called in an airport. Mm-hmm. Um, we were at a smaller airport, not JK. Mm-hmm. So see small crafts landing and li- taking off. So it's obviously noisy. Mm-hmm. My aunt calls and then like I'm trying to talk to her, but planes are landing and taking off. Mm-hmm. Uh, so to kongea, I took skizana vizuri. Ikaisha hivyo. I didn't think much of it. Mm-hmm. Juni, nimetoka shule. Ah, si Juni kwa afternoon kwa zitu za 3. Mm-hmm. Kwa tunatoka sasa. Mm-hmm. Nimetoka nimefika kwa nyumba. He, molepuko. My mom has called. Ana nizushia na nizushia na nizushia mle. Like, he? What is going on? He? Uloko mena na Nairobi kwa that M word. Ah uh-uh. ah. <laughs> uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. We don't do that here. <laughs> yeah. We do not do that here. I was like, my mom, I'm going to say that. What did you? Yes. And I'm like, I'm not Because nangu... you've done what? I'm like, I'm going to say that. And then she tells me, my my aunt, I'm in Figia, I came to I'm with her husband in a bar. That I've been pull having up, a, that up. I've been having an affair with her husband. Hey, pull up, pull up. This is husband. <laughs> you are talking here about it. Mm. Wait, wait. What the, what do you mean? Say that she's going to have a boyfriend. At the, at the, you know okay yes i had a pen pal in 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 high school to nandikiana mabarua but i hadn't been in a relationship in asemekana i am having an affair with my uncle that at the, my aunt aleni pigia nilikuwa back alikuwa na makelele mengi that i was in a bar that with, phone call yeah that i was in a bar with, with the, her husband with with, with, with the husband mm. akimaya i was like ngoja ngoja kidogo now you know these are things i had i'm so literally no idea about of. yeah Your life is your drama is escalating. <laughs> no, see, but this was now when it, everything started. This is now when everything started. This is how everything started. Oh, shit. That's where now everything started. Ai, I'm a pigia na simu home. Eh, naambiwa aeke aeko kwa matatu akuje nyumbani. Yule ni tabia gani mtu anaenda kufanya? So nime like I was telling the house help wa hiyo nyumba sasa hiyo. Now I'm I'm trying to explain to him like But I'm saying kana you know like I'm trying to explain to her because I'm like who who can I tell hey. because that I mean this is news to me 
<laughs> Yet in school, I had never met my uncle in school. We had never met mm. in school. Juya ya ko department ingine mimi ni ko department ingine. We had never met. Kasimekana <laughs> mahali na fail my uncle. Ati sijui nina at we keep texting at sijui ndi na muuliza pizza na mimi see that was just a child's Ululizo what can I bring what can, you? Wait, umataka nini? Kwani ningesema simu si I had a phone. Ningesema mango, how do I say that? So I, I I say the one thing that I was like iko Nairobi, I have never bought it by myself. Acha nilizie chakula. Na wewe ulikuwa kinyeji umechanuka pizza. So ungesema fanda na. Basi nilikuwa ninaona kwa billboard nikienda. Nikienda. Yeah. Hapa ni moto mbaya. Eh, ikasemekana ati ati yeah, I'm having an affair with with my uncle. The next day ni meko kwa matatu. Oi. Next day ni meko kwa matatu. Ni tulitoka kwa nyumba was it 7 or must be 6 something. Mm. Yo matatu ilikuwa hapo hadi noon. Ni kama just in the matatu waiting for it to fill up. <laughs> I'm like okay, naenda nyumbani. Kufika home. We 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 we. Hojara. He? Hapo ndo sasa kila kitu ika eh my, as punishment no fees for you like that's how my aviation school in Uganda because of noise from planes yes look at this oh like, see, but see that then i should have had an affair with him do do the yo kitu yeah hey. imagine that's how that that whole like from childhood from some when i was four, like that's the only thing i ever thought of being a pi- and then that just it was done just in the end to give you na see ati kuna makosa nimefanya anyway that's when that's the first like major incident of of um something being taken from me yet i have not done anything to deserve, anything that. to deserve that yeah so that's where all that the that spirit of backwardness because that was something good happening for me mm-hmm. so that had to end because of that Like, I was the youngest in my class in six months I would have started flying I would have had my CPL my commercial plane in license six months because now I had all the time in the world ningekuwa yeah. nikienda kila siku class kila siku na yeah. yeah yeah PPL p- private plane license ilikuwa mm. three months you were the kinyejiest in your class I was so focused in and school yet, yani mimi nilikuwa ngatu and you were threatening someone's marriage yeah <laughs> imagine <laughs> Till today that auntie just say hi and I'm like that that uncle also say hi Ilya you will never find me having small talk with them I don't do that I just say hi and Peter and these are people you're supposed to call family yeah. and enjoy christmas within one mm. big happy si wali house waliniaribia huko <laughs> waliniaribia Eh ye ye ile kana semekana tu mimi yangu ni kwenda kukunywa pombe. Yet sasa hizo sijakunywa pombe. Ati wewe usijui I become a prostitute. By then I hadn't even gotten into sex. Asa hapo ndo sasa nika 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 rebel sasa. Hapo ndo that is when like that was when I knew nimekuwa nikigopa mamangu all this years kumbe she's just a human being. Like ananiambia hii naambia no. And I stayed home. Kuna style mupe nimeona kwa Rambo. Kuja. I stayed home for how many how many months? Like what wako shule? Sasa si back then it was computer packages kwanza and then. Sasa mimi nilikuwa nimeingia college already direct before doing all that. So see so now the next thing was like computer packages. Mama mm. akakata akasema acha akae nyumbani. What? Anaenda nini shule? Hata hiyo. I had to intervene. I had to um ask an uncle to intervene. This is how many months later. Like I'm just home. Mm. Anasema acha akae nyumbani. They are that mad. So see my aunt painted a very No, you know how people um believe adults over children. Yeah. yeah. So no one, no one believed that nothing ever happened. No one, I'm I'm sure till today people are like what sir what has sendo wajue nothing happened <laughs> <laughs> nothing ever happened <laughs> but the, if hmm? your aunt was that threatened now this is me just being okay let me just say no, me my my the house help told me that that's what she does that he, that's that's her way of chasing girls from her home because you know like she was in Nairobi 
Nairobi rela so watu walikuwa wanampelekea watoto huko. Oh, ati yeah, ati an, ana, anaingia anti yetu wa Nairobi. Eh, ati atimshwa anakuja college acha kuja hapo kidogo ndo aende mm. kwake. Mm. That's 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 what happened and she didn't Yeah, well, her husband was that type but you know, why why spoil someone else's life because of your husband's behavior. Eh, yeah, ngoja kidogo. Sibasa niko nasema. I, I wanted to indulge kidogo on what you just said nikajiambia kwa kitu that is not appropriate but then wow, the husband was that type. Yeah. I love unampeleka kijiji. Ah no sasa si, mimi siko najua mimi siko najua anything about that. Ndio unasema sasa I love unapeleka kijiji na. Sindo niko nasema if she I'm knew. I'm going to call pressure kuka. Yeah, I'm going to Nikasema nilisema 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 probably in hindsight she was also saving me. Maybe, maybe something would have happened. Hey, you know. Kama unataka ni sasa hii. Ukiwa ulikuwa ngapi siku hiyo? 17. Imagine. <laughs> anyway, uh, maybe more. Kisomo sitia ba. Yes, niko nasema I wish I knew about hostels back then. Ningeka kwa hostel like kwa lazima nikae kwa mbarela. I remember this I think this was blisters but eh but eh nikakuliza what happened to you you were meant to go to flight school what happened to kunembe tu ah that's how you responded ulisema tu ah you didn't tell me like you just said you were revealing I don't even talk about I don't even talk about that mm. yeah but we were talking about fly, f- flying flying I was already in school I was already already almost done with ground ground work most of the things ground school about kuna flying planes mahali hata recently we talked about flight school and I told you I have to have a PPL and you know this, this is now real tutaenda tutaenda I have to. I have yeah. to. I might not be able to get a CPL but I'll get a PPL. That I have to get. They may have taken it from me then, but they will not take it away from uh, me now. Hell no. Hell. Hell. No. Mm. Mm. Asa uh, after hiyo nime hadi nimeenda kuambia watu wakuje waongeleshe watu hapa I need to go to school. Let's go to school. Ndio sasa wakakubali. And then You know I don't have a degree. Most people don't know this. But they never cross my mind. I don't have a degree. Someone was telling me there's a time someone was telling me I'm sure your your GPA is is like 3.94 and I was like Haha, no it's not. <laughs> it's because I I didn't want to start explaining that I don't have a degree I didn't. Mm. Go to campus. Lakini na wacha kuambia kuna kitu inaitwa life. The life lesson nipatie yeah. nipatie achievement uko na doctorate uko na maisha maisha ah maisha uko na doctorate wewe wewe kwanza umama tu si umama ati umama ati finyoni like they will they you and your kids my parenting surviving parenting managing no, i take shit. my parenting very seriously you have a no, doctorate no. i take parenting hey, very mimi seriously mimi nimekuna misha what like the hassle of moving from one house to another i'm telling you hiyo kitu nimeani mama mara nusu hata si nusu chini ya nusu yako lakini nasikanga tunahama kesho na kuwa mgonjwa wewe ni stero na watu wawili peke yangu yeah so degree ya education fuck yeah. that shit yeah so uh, do you know why i don't have a degree it's because niliambiwa enda shika enda fanya ikos disaster management because that was the the, the new thing at the time and, and uh, no i was told to do nursing but i hadn't done biology in school because he was focusing more on deke so i did physics and chemistry yeah kwa deke all these body parts so um no I, my school you only had to do two sciences mm. and because physics was needed and chemistry was was compulsory mm. so i did physics and chemistry in kacha biology mm. yeah so um they wanted me to do nursing i couldn't because siko nafanya biology so hizo mimi i'm not the one who is making decisions mimi ndo naambiwa hadi nimepelekwa shule and they didn't want me going to nairobi they wanted me to go to this side to be eaten you cap long you cap ushago eh asiende nairobi ende eh but then again the school that we at that time when it was offered in disaster management still kwa masinde muliro na those uh, campus college in kiambu Yes now who goes to Nairobi again. But nikiwa kwa I never not even once went to that aunt and uncle's house. <laughs> I think even till today's day yeah. And... Aki uli wa format. Aki Maria, uli format sasa ingia Nairobi. 
I was like, I was like, they took my aviation dream. Like, nilikuwa ni meshika. Same opportunity. The dream is still there. Yeah. Well, nilikuwa ni meshika. Allah fa kafanya hivi. What is? My eyes. Yeah. I was like, yani how how do you because of insecurities? Hmm? Hey, kasi ma okay okay. So ni kana nikafanya hiyo disaster management yao diploma. That was the highest at that time. So degree katokea nikamwambia no I'm not doing anything that nyinyi mnataka. Ngoja kidogo. You did the diploma in disaster management to kamaliza. Yeah. See, ni, al- see look how it helps you. Nikaenda attachment. You've been managing disasters. Oh, by the way. <laughs> Very well. Like a bro. Yeah. Oh, you have a you, you have a paper. <laughs> <laughs> ni, nikaenda hadi attachment in machako that's when i saw hunger sikwa ni major kumbe watu wanalala nje watu wanakula maembe watu wanakula eh we nilirudi kerito na kula kila kitu i wasn't eating potatoes sikwa nakula githeri sikwa nakula nini ni sikwa nakula ai nilirudi nakula kila kitu man like people are dying people are dying here that also was was a life lesson that i needed eh nilirudi nakula kila kitu ati sikwa nakula hii sikwa nakula hii sikwa nakula staki we Yeah, so during that time is when I was living alone in in Nairobi at 19. So see this uh, that whole rebellion thing it comes up for 17 18. My my mom any anaonge nilikuwa naona gari ya mamangu ikiingia kwa compound like I'd pee on myself. That is how much I used to fear her. Lakini nilikuwa na mogopa. Okay, so you come here in your yes I'm no. Like can I ask you that she used to whoop you guys? A lot. Kibopo. Me. Mm. Me. Not us. Me. What? Me. Yeah, a lot. That's why my pain threshold is high. Ay, I mean, I'll be like, "Oh, yeah, so Lisa Mamago. We are fikia." Yeah, like, I, you know, those are some of the traumas that you don't know it's trauma, but when you're older, you're like, "Hi." Hey. Hey. Yeah, so I used to fear her pick up points. I'm talking back. I was like mimi ndio ninaongelesha mambo yangu hivi mimi ninja yangu and i'm not dead so na yeye ni lifika hata yeye i'm sure she was like huyu ananiongelesha aje and then she try and, and and make me intimidate remember who she is and i'm like no no yeye sha pita i'm like yeye sha pita yeye sha pita so that is when because of oh, people that is when that is when Like when I stopped fearing my mom, mm. I stopped fearing anyone. 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 Like why is go go to? Yeah, you wanna nikio. Ni una ni kujets ji ya ji. Mother and ji. How like if my 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 mwenye nilikuwa ninasikia tu gari yake. Nasikia kama maisha yangu imeisha. If I don't fear her anymore. Mm. I think I fear anyone else. Hapo ndo, yani I think I think these things that have been happening have been setting me up for for now like yeah, later on in life yeah, yeah so hapo leo ulijua vitu za kuogopa ni uji moto bibi ya mtu na mungu so yeah that's the ah. first the first yeah and sasa hapo ndo ni the first incidents where like something major happened ndo nikajua eh it's been happening from then like all the way huh? something good happens you inenda Something good happens you in end. I just do a getting into a relationship first month, second month, third month. Hey, things start. Tunakumbuka tani kikwambia with my, with my husband mm. by month 6 already wanted to get out. The patience are quite big. Even friendships. Mm. And this is why I prefer just being by myself mm. yeah because I'm like hey, I will get I'll, I'll befriend this person and then itaribika. Mm. <laughs> So I have learned to to keep myself apart from people because nilikuwa na juanga anything I touch it I big. So now after finding out that hey come there's nothing wrong with me it's not that there's something I did or something to do that happened that I'm paying for it no it's something in my bloodline something that happened before I was even born something that is in my DNA not DNA no <laughs> something that is following me and then also um i was told maybe then my destiny is there's something with it because this all this suicidal attempts like something has been trying to 
make me kill myself so that I do not realize this. And to figure find find this out. <laughs> what is this that all this has been happening for me to end my life? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, so you see part of part of part of this I found out that was the, the whole generational thing, like breaking generational Curse. curses. That is one in the line of things that I need to do, one of my purposes. And so I was like, oh, oh, but you, you want to, to, to kill me because I'm going to reroute yeah. some roots. And end you. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, okay. Then I will use everything that has happened to, to you know, to guide and, and direct me in the path that is needed. Mm -hmm. I will use all the pain. Hey, let's come and preach.